Hey, this is Algorithm, otherwise known as Adam Jensen. We're unlocking the umlauts or no umlauts achievement by deciding the fixer's fate. We pick up the action with Adam releasing Mejia from solitary. To escape the facility, Adam needs to shut down the transport tracking system and disable the two anti-aircraft turrets. They're in the admin compound, so we'll go back the way we came through the maintenance passage to the Morgan Infirmary. Then we'll follow the objective marker to the transport tracking system. We're close to the end of the game. It's not difficult to turn off the transportation tracking system and the turrets before going to the landing pen for the conclusion. Nevertheless, there is an optional side mission that ties together the plot threads, answering Adam's unanswered questions. The video is structured so you can either get a complete story walkthrough with spoilers edited out, or jumped to part two, skipping the optional storylines in order to go directly to the game's conclusion. There will be a clear decision point prompt to allow you to make your choice. Keep an eye out here for drones above you and mines on the ground. Weapons, surrender, and go back to your cells. There's no shame in self-preservation. Missile scan completed. Maintaining cautious patrol mode. Anomalous snake detected. Get any smart ideas, Ward Muller. I'm gonna need you when all this is over. Can I trust you? Certainly, Mr. Stanger. I, uh, I'll be ready to do whatever. Finding a breaker to turn off the current that electrifies the floor. If you want to, you can manipulate the box and avoid damage. If you're quick, the electricity is not life-threatening, so I just suck it up and get through as quickly as possible. There's no need for finesse at this point in the game. <coughs> response, Be warned that we are approved for use of live ammunition. Only reason to go into this room is to get a multi-tool. There's a bunch of stuff in the room up here. Nothing we really need since we're already good on multi-tools and need only two rounds of stun gun ammo from here on out. So I'm just collecting for the sake of collecting and we'll fast forward through this segment. Going to the elevator leading up to management where we'll find the transport tracking system, there are a lot of hostels. Keep an eye on the white dots. Wait until the group of three breaks up and the group of two walks away from you. Then stay behind those two watching out for the turret facing you. ...alone or how well armed he is. So proceed with caution. Understood. Got it. <clears throat> We're taking heavy losses down here! Staying out of sight of the guards and waiting for the turret to turn away from the path to the elevator. Wish we'd been activated sooner. We're going to intentionally make the guard a little suspicious. We want to bring her towards Adam so she'll be walking away from him when we call the elevator. It's tricky because there are some very delicate lines near the call button. I ended up detonating them, but was far enough away so it wasn't critical. I didn't intend to detonate them because they can be fatal. 
However, this does work out for the best because we use this elevator again and it's simpler without the mines. <laughs> tripping over your own feet. I used to work in a factory. This isn't my first time around heavy equipment. You sure you can handle that thing? It's hard to make a fast getaway, but it's fun as fuck. Just don't Did shoot my ass by mistake, yet? okay? Relax. I, uh, I'm sure I'll find him soon. Going to find something. I ain't hanging up. So, you need something? I'll help if I can. I need access to the transport's tracking system. It's here in the warden's office. Go right ahead and do whatever you need, brother. I'm just waiting on my interview. Flossie gives Adam the green light, but first Adam needs a pocket secretary. With it, he'll access a computer and open the doors to the vault where the transport tracking system is. <clears throat> Should find a warden. How long is this gonna take? Someone talk to me, damn it! <sighs> I don't believe this. Inside the vault, we'll use the override code 2027 from the pocket secretary to disengage the tracking system. A nearby security monitor catches Adam's attention and makes him want to take another look at the infirmary. Someone talk to me, Dan. So, when you saw Stenger and Wirthmuller arguing on the security monitor, it sounded like Guerrero might be there. But didn't he say he was going to the tower to reroute the flight path? Why would he go to the infirmary? I had the same question, Doctor. Guerrero was obviously hiding something, but I needed to take a trip to the infirmary if I wanted to know what it was. If you don't want to pursue the optional Head of the Snake side mission, you can skip directly to Part 2. You'll find yourself at this point going towards the objective marker and the West Wing elevator instead of to the infirmary. If you want to pursue all optional side missions, continue on. It's simple. All you have... While we're here, we'll make one last shopping stop. We don't need to. I just want to show you that it's available and you can buy crafting parts to make multi-tools. The head of the snake, point of interest, leads us on an optional side mission to Stinger's office, after which we'll wrap up the main story. The 
This is ground we've covered before. Stay behind the white dots, watching out for the turret facing you. I don't even know what I was looking for. A lot to do here. What was that? You hear something? We'll check the tapes later. Our clumsiness earlier detonated the mine so we don't have to worry about them this time around. Things are getting a little more calm. Finally! Just wound him! We'll take him out! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Go again! Who the hell? He can't be far! We should have just shot you on sight! Stay with me! This place should be shut down. Make sure we don't miss anything. You want to call in with nothing? I'll quickly gloss over this to avoid spoilers. Agent Guerrero said that he'd killed Wilberg to protect his Interpol cover. But the recording indicated that he did it to protect his standing with Junkyard. If that was true, he'd lied to me, again. Guerrero had some explaining to do. But if I didn't do what was needed to ensure the escape, neither of us were going to make it back to Interpol. And now we'll make our way to the West Wing elevator so that we can go up to where the turrets are that we have to disable and finally to the landing pads so we can make our escape. Did see something, right? Go on ahead and double back. Keep it down. Nothing. Come out! We won't hurt you too much. Any idea what I should be looking for? <laughs> 